Greetings everyone. It's a uh, uh, nice spring day in Austin, Texas. Not a good day to try to do this uh, next experiment, which is the Faraday Ice Pail experiment. Uh, because the humidity in the room, and should I try this in a normal classroom, it probably wouldn't work after first four or five minutes of class, mainly because students going in and out of the classroom would humidify the room. And these open air electroscopes just don't work with the humidity. It would be perfect in Utah or Arizona, but not here. Uh, what this works is I try, I say try, um, to charge my first electroscope using my Winters machine. And you notice I'm putting charge into the center of the pot or the pail. And then I try off my second uh, discharge sphere or proofing sphere to go into the center of the pail. I'm even going to tap it. And then I'm going to try to transfer charge to the second electroscope. Nothing happened. If I repeatedly do this in the first electroscope, the pail is you might see a little bit of motion on the second electroscope. And that's all you get on a humid day, spring day, in Austin, Texas, doing a Faraday um, ice pad. Uh, if I was to go up here and touch this guy, he would jump considerably. So, that's briefly the Faraday Ice Pail on a warm, humid day in Austin, Texas.